Good luck. It's known by Shigeru Miyamoto as the game that almost was. Star Fox 2 is perhaps the most famous cancelled game ever. In fact, many fans claim it's the best game in the franchise. It was widely hyped in magazines and trade shows until it was quietly cancelled in late 1995. So what happened to Star Fox 2 and why was it cancelled? Our story begins immediately after the release of the original game on the Super Nintendo. With the game being a critical and commercial success, the team behind the original game, including lead programmer Dylan Cuthbert, went to work on a sequel. The game would use an upgraded version of the Super FX chip, giving it even more memory to allow better frame rates and more complex polygons in the game. Star Fox 2 is a direct sequel to the first game. The army of Andros has returned to unleash an attack on the planet of Corneria, using missiles, battleships, and his hired mercenary crew known as Star Wolf. It's up to the Star Fox team to save the day. The original crew has returned, including Fox, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy. There's also two new faces, Miu and Faye. In the original game, your ship was on rails and was a pretty linear game. This time around, Nintendo wanted to change it up and give the player more freedom. And they delivered. Star Fox 2 is part strategy, part shooter. You have complete control of where you want to go in the Lilat system. The ultimate goal is to protect the planet of Corneria and defeat the forces of Andros. When you begin the game, you take control of two members of the Star Fox team. Each member has their own unique ship and attributes. During the game, you roam around the map of the Lilat system, fighting off battleships, missiles, and members of the Star Wolf team. You can also land on planets and take out missile bases. Landing on the planets also allows the player to transform his R-Wing into a walking robot. The game is an absolute blast. The graphics and frame rate are much improved, everything is more bright and colorful, and the strategic gameplay allows for a totally different experience every time you play. Star Fox 2 was first shown off at the Winter CES show in 1995. With the Nintendo 64 being delayed, Nintendo decided to push their other products, most notably the Virtual Boy and their Super FX games. Star Fox 2 was a smash hit at the show. People praised the new freedom and strategy in the game. In fact, people loved it so much, one guy was arrested trying to steal a copy of the game. On a side note, guess what other game was featured at the Winter CES show? Star Fox on the Virtual Boy. Seriously, they had a tech demo for a Star Fox game on this thing. It was just an R-Wing flying around in space, but the thought of Star Fox on the Virtual Boy just blows my mind. It probably would have been one of the better games on the system. And because the Virtual Boy flamed out, this game was obviously cancelled. Anyway, back to Star Fox 2. Many magazines such as EGM had full previews of the game. Nintendo Power even listed it as their most anticipated game from the Winter CES show. The hype was building for a summer release. However, it never happened. Rumors began circulating that the game had been delayed, and then came rumors of cancellation. In the September 1995 issue of Nintendo Power, Nintendo officially responded to these rumors, saying, Development of Nintendo's sequel to the hit 3D space action game is finishing as we go to press. The big question mark is the release date, most likely in the first half of 1996. Well, something did happen in the first half of 1996. Star Fox 64 was announced, thus totally killing any hope of Star Fox 2 being released. So what gives? The game was totally finished. Why did it get canned? According to Dylan Cuthbert, Shigeru Miyamoto made that call. His reasoning? According to Cuthbert, Miyamoto wanted a clean break between the 3D games on the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64. Nintendo was also well aware of the other consoles coming out, including the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. Their full focus was on the Nintendo 64, and they didn't want to be embarrassed putting out a franchise game on older technology. Nintendo would move forward with Star Fox 64, and Star Fox 2 would officially become the game that almost was. However, it wouldn't be forgotten. Nintendo would reuse some ideas and technology from the game in their new Nintendo 64 games, including Super Mario 64 and, of course, 
Star Fox 64. And then, A Ray of Hope. The Super Nintendo emulation scene was really taking off during the late 90s, releasing betas and unreleased Super Nintendo games. Their crowning achievement during this time? Star Fox 2. An early alpha build of the game was leaked first, which was somewhat different than the final version and featured a multiplayer mode. The game was somewhat buggy, and not the version most people had seen at the trade shows. Then a few years later, in August of 2002, a former developer of the game leaked a final version of the game. Fans cleaned up the game and translated it into English, giving Star Fox 2 an unofficial, full ROM release. This is the version you see on most reproduction carts of the game, and on downloadable ROMs. With Nintendo fully focused on their next system, a new Star Fox game was in the works, and this one would be the most memorable game in the series. On the next episode of The Gaming Historian, Star Fox 64.